everybody. Welcome back to Junitopia. Well, I have been doing some shopping over the last two weeks, so I thought I would save it all up for one big video and show you what I have purchased. So I have been to Sephora. Let me pull my drawer out here so I have a little place to set stuff in. Let me show you what I got first from Sephora. So the first thing I got is from Tarte. This is a limited edition Tarte blush, and you all know I love the Amazonian clay blushes. Look at the packaging on this. Is that not beautiful? Can you see how those stars move in there? Isn't that beautiful? This is in the shade called Fairy Flush. And this is so beautiful. I love that. Let me color swatch this and show you. It's so soft. I'm not sure if you can see it on my hand good or not, but I love that. So doesn't really have a scent, but I love the packaging. Is that not gorgeous? So I got that. Let's see. What else did I get? I got um, two samples of the Marc Jacobs Foundation because I was asked by one of my viewers to do a um, try on the Marc Jacobs Foundation to do that on a Try It Tuesday. So I got two additional samples of that so I'd make sure I'd have enough plus uh, different colors. And I also got a Makeup um, Forever color uh, eyeshadow in the color M322. Let me color swatch this for you. I don't often buy a whole lot of uh, singles and I didn't get the little compact it came with it. I could have got that for free, but I didn't. I just, something else to have in my way, so I didn't get it. Ah, just about dropped it, but it is a really pretty green, so let me color swatch this for you. So here is what this looks like. So that is really, really pretty. So that is what I got from Sephora because I had uh, two Sephora play cards that I needed to cash in and I don't get over to Johnson City that often so um, my husband took me over there because it was all-you-can-eat shrimp. He acted like he was taking me but you know he loves the all-you-can-eat shrimp because you know I don't uh, get my money's worth on the all-you-can-eat shrimp but he does. So that's what I got from Sephora and here is Miss Bells. Here's Miss Bells. Yeah, there's Miss Bell. So hop up here in your spot, baby. So, and then I got an order in from um, HSN. Here is the Too Faced palette. I've got this on a Try It Tuesday, so I'm not going to color swatch it or anything. That's what I will have in that Too Faced uh, on my um, Try It Tuesday. This is the Too Faced palette. It is the Sugar Cookie palette. That is what I have on my eyes today. So that is what that is. I also ordered this from Ipsy. This is no longer available, but you can order this on Amazon. Or if you uh, subscribe to Ipsy, you can get this from Ipsy. It is the Bombs Girls Getaway Trio. It comes in the colors in it. Um, Bomb Springs, Bomb Beach, and Bomb Desert. And I got this for a really good deal. So I didn't have anything from the Bomb, so I wanted that. So I got that. So that was something I purchased. I also went to the Dollar Tree, and I'm not sure if all the bags are right here or not, but I may have to do that in two different. But let me show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. I got um, some orange feather boas. I also got some uh, ribbon to use on my dining room table. I got some razors. I also got some um, cute little, that one says love, and this one says XOXOXO, I love those, I thought those were so, so cute, and this one says love. I know they were only a dollar, but they're so cute. My friend Tammy got me one of the loves, and I got in my office at work. I've had it for a long time. And this one says XOXOXO, and that one's going to go to someone very, very special. So, uh, she should be getting that in the mail. When I get to the mailbox, I've got to get to the mailbox and mail off some checks and mail off some goodie boxes and stuff. So, I have got to get to the mail and get that stuff done. Yes, I know Bella Feathers. You'll have feathers all over the house, won't you, girl? So that's the stuff I got at the Dollar Tree. 
And here is another bag I got from the Dollar Tree. I got some acetone nail polish remover. Can't keep that near my makeup table though. And I've got some uh, daily moisturizing lotion with oatmeal because uh, oatmeal is really good for dry skin. So I've got that. And I also got some Irish spring soap because it's like of the Irish. And I really like Irish spring soap. Also, let me give you a little tip. If you have a garage or anywhere that gets mice, if you cut up Irish spring soap and just toss it around, it's supposed to keep mice out. When I did have a camper, I did that, and it did keep the mice out. Also went to a Sam's Discount Club or Wholesale or whatever Sam's is called, Sam's Club, I think, and got this faux leather jacket for $25. And I've got a real leather jacket that my husband got me last year for Christmas in black. And I wanted a brown one, too, but I didn't want him to spend another $200. So he got me this faux leather one, which I will get plenty of use out of. And um, really, no more than I wear a leather lightweight jacket. This will do me perfectly fine in the season. Because really, I've been trying to go more cruelty-free. So, um, yeah, the faux leather is kind of more what I'm trying to go get to. And uh, so for $25, this will do me fine. And, um, yeah, that, that was good for cruelty-free and uh, met the needs of what I was wanting. Okay, here is um, some of the yolks that I got from Sam's. It's Cuddle Duds. They are legging type things, but I wear these underneath my pants in the winter because, you know, I work for the highway department. Even though I work inside the office, I work snow duty, and it's very, very cold sometimes when I have to go out to work. And sometimes our offices are cold, so I thought those would be great to wear underneath pants. So I got those, and then I went into a place called Bargain Hunt, and that place has got where it's not, you have to hunt for a bargain, really. But I did get these scar away silicone scar sheets, and I had a uh, lipoma removed from my shoulder that was about the size of a golf ball back uh, in May, and it left a horrible, horrible scar. I will never go to that doctor again. Uh, if you live locally, I will let you know who that doctor is. But anyway, I got these for that place. It's a horrible, horrible place. It got infected. There are dogs running around the office. Anyway, if you live locally, ask me. I will let you know. I don't recommend that, that doctor. I went into my, Michael's, and they had you to have those $4 bargain bins. One of them is already downstairs. For $4, I got eight like margarita plastic glasses that are really, really cute and four plates and two little hanging things to hang outside that have artificial flowers in them for $4. This is the second bag that I got for $4. And I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I guess because my second cup of coffee has kicked in. But anyway, this is my $4 bag. And this will be so cute for the 4th of July. This is... Um, this originally cost $32. It's a park gazebo. If anybody does these little scenes outside this, or, you know, does these little scenes on tables or something, that's a park gazebo for a table accent. I also got the little, uh, this one was $16.99. This is a, a lounging around set. Here is two figures that were $8.99, and this is so cute. This is a little girl and a little dog and a wagon and a little boy. I should have figured out how, my, all, uh, how, my, all, how much all this was. Here is an apple tree, and this retailed for $16.99. So I've got 4th of July set up. And here is some um, grass, and this retails for $4.99. Here is uh, six baseball players for $14.99. So, that was uh, a really cute set. Now I do more fairy scenes than I do things like this. So again, if you live near me and you do something like this and you want this, let me know. I will give it to you. You live close by. So. And then I went into Hobby Lobby and I got some glittered faux aprons, which I'm going to put string on and hang them on my little tree back here. I also got a cat lover's pad, which I thought was so cute. They had all kinds of cat stuff. Y'all know I'm a crazy cat lady. And 
then they had this really cute pumpkin. It's ceramic, it's white and gold, and it says grateful on it. And I'm so grateful for every day that God gives me and my family together. And somewhere I think I got some ribbon somewhere. Yeah, and I got some ribbon. It's white and gold. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. Bella's going through my bags down there on the floor. She says, anything for me, Mommy? Let's see what I've got over here. Let's see. This is from uh, TJ Maxx. I got a brush set from TJ Maxx. It's 100% vegan bristles. So I got those. Those are from Urban Studio. I've not never tried anything from them, but I wanted it because it said vegan bristles. I wanted to try those. I also got a Milani lipstick in the shade color uh, 46. Let me open this up and try it. It's cruelty free. And you know I love Milani lipsticks. It's close to what I put on today. But I'm hoping it's not matte. Because I have... Oh, it's very, very pretty. It's very close to what I put on today. And I very close to a matte shade that I've got. And I got another Milani lipstick in the shade called Coral Attic. Ouch. And these ones sell for $2.99, which is like $2 off what you pay for them at the big box store. Oh, that's very pretty. I love the way they smell. Reminds me of something from my childhood. Can't remember what it is, but it reminds me of something from my childhood. And I also got an Anastasia color in the shade Rosette. And it was on sale for $4.99. Like I said, I don't often buy a lot of singles, but when I find a good Anastasia in a single, I'm going to pay $5 for that. And here is what it looks like. And that's beautiful. So, there is my purchase from TJ Maxx. So, and then let's see what do I have here. This is from Walmart. I got a Revlon nail polish in the shade uh, 721, a uh, Raven Red, because they discontinued the shade that I have on, so this was the closest thing I could find, so I got that. I also got this really cute little pair of earrings for $4, so I got those. And I got another Milani lipstick in the shade Uptown Mauve. So let's try it out. There's what it looks like. So, and those are those. I've already given my husband one I got him from Ulta, so I will get that when I do his um, Birchbox Man. And then while we were over in the Tri-Cities, I ran into my favorite shoe store, which is Beatty's. They also have one in uh, Kingsport, Johnson City, and one in Knoxville. And the one in Knoxville, I think, is called um, Liz and... Let's see what it's on the ticket here. It's called um, Liz and something or other. And you can check it out online. It's called MyShoeStore.com. But anyway, here is a little pair of boots that I got. A little pair of booties. They zip on the side. So I love those. And I like the fact that I got to go down size in those. So, loving on those little booties. And then I went into TJ Maxx in another town. And picked up this palette called Secretly a Mermaid. And, uh, geez, I wonder who that's going to go to, Miss Erica. So, that will go into Miss Erica's box that I've got sitting over there, waiting on her Ricky's Cult boxes into her. And then I picked up this bottle of OPI nail polish in the shade called Tickle My Francie. So, got that. And I picked up two Makeup Revolution palettes. 
and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these for my own stash or if I'm going to put these in Christmas stocking stash. And I got them in the shade Redemption Palette Iconic Elements, which I think is a dupe for Makeup Revolution, I mean for Urban Decay's on Urban Decay um, Naked One and then I got Unicorns Are Real and I thought that was really pretty but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that and give that as a Christmas present or keep that for myself so I haven't made up my mind about that yet and then let's see I went into Ulta Beauty that's when I went in to get the Once palette and found out the information that I found out. And I picked me up a brush, and this is the um, Small Shadow Brush. Picked that up. Also picked up a small Z or a medium Z palette because, like I said, I don't often buy a lot of single shadow, but I wanted one that just fit about 15 eyeshadows. Just got something, you know not small small but not as large as the other one that I've got and I would show it to you if Bella wasn't sitting on my drawer here but I picked that up and I also picked up um, two singles to put in it and if I've got dupes of these then I will take them back and get a different shade but I picked up shade um, Buzzword and I also picked up shade Safe What which I think I might have but uh, if I've got either one of these then I will return it to Tuesday when I go to the doctor then I picked up, these were 90% off, so I got both of these tubes for less than $3. Um, the one from, what brand is that? Mm, what brand is that? Get my magnifying glass over here and take what brand this is. I think it's L'Oreal. Color Sensational by Maybelline. It is in shade 896. It's called Serpentine. It's a green shade. But I got it for 71 cents. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then this is a um, Lorac shade in the shade Headliner. And I got it for like I said, I got both of these for less than $3. I got it for um, $1.90. It had been $19. And I like Lorac lipsticks. I lost one of my favorite ones called Beach Babe. Or, uh, no, uh, Cat Woman. Cat Lady. Cat Lady. But I got this one. thought this was a pretty shade. There's what it looks like. I couldn't pass it up for that price. So, uh, that's a lot of lipstick for that price. A lot, a lot of lipstick for that price. So, um, love the packaging on the rock. So, I got five lipsticks yesterday. Or this, the last two weeks. So, um, Loving on all of that. Still got some bags over here. Stop at the Goodwill. And if you all watch QVC, you all know the brand Tignatella. I got this Tignatella purse for $4.87. And it doesn't ha have any cigarette odor to it at all. And I really like that. It's, it's a full leather bag. So I did purchase that, and I know it's leather, but someone else had already purchased it, so it's not like I was purchasing it brand new. Purchased it second hand, and I also got this little leather wallet for 97 cents, which matches it. So, um, for less than seven dollars, I got a leather wallet and a leather purse. And here is more things from TJ Maxx. Here is another Milani lipstick that I got for $2.99. And again, it's another hot pink. Is it the same shade that I got before? Let me look. If it is, I won't open it up and I'll give it to Mom. Let me look. Oh, goodness. Got a 
bunch of stuff here. 14 and 46. No, it's not the same. So let me open it. This is called Rose Hip. So let me open this one up and look. Another beautiful hot pink shade. Man, I'm into the hot pinks lately. It's very similar. It's right here. So it's very, very similar. I may have to give that one to Mom anyway. I'll have a little hair or something on it right there. So I may have to give that one to Mom anyway. I think she would like that one. So there is that one. Now, let's see what else did I get. Oh, I got another Anastasia eyeshadow in the shade Caramel. I forgot about getting another one five dollars. Bella's sitting right here so interested in what mommy's doing. So let me open up this eyeshadow and see what I got. Like I said, this is two weeks worth of shopping. Here is Caramel. So that's really, really pretty. I like that a lot. And then, let's see, I got a Too Faced a Melted Latex Lipstick in the shade called Hot Mess. I've never tried their Melted Latex. So let's try this right here. Ooh, that's gorgeous for the fall. Loving on that. Boy, I'm loving on these bright pink lipsticks on our bells. And then the last thing I got is this cute little top. It's just solid black in the front because you all know I love black. But when you see me going, this is what you're going to see. Shake, 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 shake my booty. So that is that from TJ Maxx. And the last bag that I have over here... It's knowledge free. I picked up a card. I picked up uh, just a little thing there. I like to keep some toys for the kids when they come here to the house. So that's just a little toy to keep here at the house. I picked up some double sided tape for a dollar. That's a really good deal. I also picked up a little notepad for me to keep in my purse. And you know, it's that kind that you know you can swap the sequins. Yeah, you'll see that nails. Isn't that cool? You can swap the sequins on that. I also picked up an LA Color eyeshadow palette. I heard someone on Facebook or YouTube talking about this, and I can't remember who it was. It is in the shade Matte Nificent. So let me open these up in color, swatch these, and see what these look like. It's only a dollar. I thought, well, I'll try them for a dollar. If I don't like it, I can always put it in my next the clutter video. So let's open these up and see. Well, they're tape shut. Let's see here. Oh, I need to get the tape. Take a little sponge applicator. Here's what the shades look like. Let's color swatch these babies. Okay, here's the four shades. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Well, they're pretty shades. They're a little powdery, but hey, those are pretty. So I'm definitely going to give them a try. Then I picked up a tube of Colgate Max White and a tube of Crest 3D Toothpaste for a dollar each. I thought I would give those a try and see what I thought about those. And I also picked up some packing tape because I was out of packing tape and couldn't pack my, uh, ship my uh, things I'm about to ship out. So that is my haul for the last two weeks. If y'all like my videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up and a share. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Baby, do you really think you need more treats? And if you like my channel, like I said, please subscribe. 
and hit the little notification bell. <laughs> she is want more treats bad. And be sure to share the love, not the hate. There's so much hatred in this world. And Bella says, make mama give me more treats. Make mama give me more treats. Yeah. Yeah. If you're looking for a cat or a dog, please be sure to check your local animal shelter because um, there are so many animals out there that need homes. And, um, yeah, rescue animals make such good animals. They make such good babies. Yes, they do. They make such good babies. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Share the love, not the hate. Let me get over, over her and turn this camera off.